Hello everyone, welcome to my online edu.com's video tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll learn how to use the investing.com chart for your uh, technical analysis on, uh, on shares, commodities, currencies, whatever you know, the, whatever the things that you want. Uh, and also in this tutorial, we'll learn how to save the chart for you know future analysis for your future work okay so uh, two things uh, two two goal of this video one is uh, to learn how to save the chart for your future reference and second is how to use the chart few tips to you know to 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 work on that investing.com chart so first thing that you need to visit is investing.com website so here based on your uh, country you know you can select your regional country or you can stay to the investing.com okay so i'll i'll say that okay i am in india right now so i you know i can click on take me there so now if you go to the live charts okay so here you can see the chart okay based on uh, based on your uh, things but w one thing that you can notice here that you need to sign in to save your chart settings first thing that you need to do is you need to sign in to save otherwise you cannot save the chart so if whatever the you know work that you do over here okay so everything will not be saved until and unless you sign in fine okay so let's sign in So I'll sign in with my Google account. If you want, you can, you know, uh, do a free sign up. But it's okay to sign up with a, your a Google or Facebook account. So now, now if I go to, you know, any any uh, stock, let's say Infosys is a is a Indian stock okay and i'll go to the daily time frame so now here you know you can see that uh, you know i i have i can save the things okay so for an example that i can draw a trend line like this okay and then you know i can do a save over here so if i click over here you know i can save so i can just give a name of the chart layout that info sees and then save okay so then i can also open another chart let's say info hdfc bank okay and then i can also let's say you know i want to uh, draw a trend line over here so i can draw a trend line right and then i can also save this thing okay either either i can save this chart within the infosys or i can create a new layout so we'll come over here but the basic thing is that you need to sign in to save your chart fine now if i go back to infosys you know you will see that our saved data is present so now let's look into the second part which is how we can use this saving technique okay the saving the chart for our future analysis okay so uh, let's first go to our investing.com uh, you can now go to my portfolio okay and you can enter the stocks which you, which is there in your portfolio or basically or maybe in your watch list okay so just few things i'll give in fee okay so it, these are all Indian uh, stocks. You can you know use the stocks based on your country. It doesn't matter. Okay, Infi, TCS, and let's say SDFC Bank. Okay. So these are the three stocks are there in my portfolio, and I'll go to the you know I can now add one more portfolio over here. Okay, so it will be my watch list. So, uh, you know, uh, maybe something like bullish trend, 
okay just for an example so uh, you know i'll put the hindustan unilever over here okay and also maybe reliance industries inside the bullish trend it's just for you know example purpose okay now you can go to the chart section and you can uh, maximize the chart you see these all three you know in your portfolio this stock will appear over here so you can go to any of the stocks okay like this so now you know you can either you can load the saved chart you remember that infosys that we already had saved earlier or or you know you can save by your on your own name okay but now here we'll do one thing first we'll uh, make the chart as a candlestick chart okay and then we'll uh, do few uh, settings over here on this chart fine so here in the settings basically you can change the candle colors based you know you know uh, the bullish candle is green uh, the the bearish candle is red you can change it according to your need you can make it black and white uh, based on your need and also uh, there is a price line is there okay uh, you know we can change it to uh, some particular color uh, currently it's blue that's okay uh, and also in the scales uh, i think everything is okay until and unless you know you need something uh, different okay and the background is also okay if you want the grid then you know you can uh, select uh, this grid horizontal uh, grid lines okay and also the vertical grid lines you can select the color of the grid line you see here it will be you know uh, like that but uh, normally uh, uh, i mean i don't prefer grids okay so uh, that's it you can use your time zone and uh, all this thing over here and then click okay and after that you know uh, i can save it let's save it okay so this is my daily uh, analysis fine and then what i will do is uh, maybe on the daily daily analysis also you know i can divide i can uh, divide this uh, chart to to uh, different uh, maybe daily and weekly so what i'll do is i'll do a save as and then daily and weekly analysis you know so here in the daily and weekly analysis what i'll do is i'll split the chart using in in into two half in, okay so this part will be one day and this part will be one week see again it's all depending on your requirement okay and then to save the data you need to click this cloud symbol with a up arrow mark so the data is saved over here so and to load the data load the chart the saved layout you know if i now click on the daily analysis what will come over here is the chart that is a single window and then if you want to load the chart of the daily and weekly analysis okay uh, this window will come fine and also on the daily analysis chart you know let's save it as as intraday analysis and we can divide this you know into uh, based on your need okay uh, i'll divide into three uh, three triangle uh, three uh, uh, three uh, layouts okay so the first half will be let's say on 15 minutes the second half uh, will be let's say on the 5 minutes chart and the third half will be on the let's say uh maybe 1 hour or 30 minutes 30 minutes is good for me okay okay so one thing that you notice here that you know you have these symbols over here right so they uh, like some pattern it will be p d for dividend so how can you get rid of this so right click on any chart and then hide marks on bars so it will be hidden okay and now now you know i, I can save the chart okay so now if if i do a uh, go to the daily analysis chart okay and let analyze the hdfc bank over here okay so as you can see here that you know i can draw a trend line you know so i can draw a trend line and save this chart okay 
and also I can you know include many indicators if I want like MACD indicators okay and then next is RSI indicators and maybe stochastics indicator you know as many indicator as you want you can you can uh, place it over here okay so now uh, let's say you know I, I want to just merge the volume up so I can do the merge up okay so what will happen is now volume will become will come over here and I can turn it off or on you know so it's merged basically with the chart now you know I can do a save of this particular layout and as you can see I have already you know uh, put these three indicators MACD, RSI and stochastics and I can use this button to move the things up and down and also if I want to make the MACD down I can you know use like this. So based on my need you know I can save it. So now you can see you know uh, this is the daily analysis chart right and then what I can do is on the daily analysis chart I can load the intraday analysis chart also. So on the intraday analysis chart you know there are three layouts uh, and then you know so now here you see one good thing is that whenever you draw some 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 uh, some lines over here you know any anything like any support or resistance so it will be drawn into the other time time other time frame also right so if i draw like this you see here now if this button you can maximize that particular chart okay so that thing is actually drawn correct over here so this is the 30 minutes chart i can draw a uh, trend line over here and this particular trend line you can see that is drawn over here automatically okay so uh, this is the this is the beauty of uh, this uh, this chart and then you can you know save your analysis this this is this is going to be your intraday analysis correct now uh, i am going back again i am loading uh, my daily analysis there and i can uh, go to infosys and you know i can do my analysis over here as as a daily analysis okay a as i do so so i can, now i can save this daily analysis chart fine so so this is how you know i can divide my work and also if i want to uh, go to the daily and weekly analysis okay so uh, again you know i can go to infosys over here and hide marks on bars okay so uh, what i can do is i can on on a volume you know i can merge it up and also you know i can use different indicators over here let's say i i will use macd here it's just an example so on daily analysis but on the weekly chart you know i'll use let's say rsi okay so now if i save this chart layout something like this so it will give me the left hand side will give me the daily day chart the right hand side is my weekly chart and i can you know maximize this weekly chart using this button to toggle the maximize and minimize thing okay so you see uh, saving the chart layout is very easy uh, with with investing.com only criteria is you need to sign in right and then you know if you don't hide the marks on the bar so these things will come up but if you click right click and then hide marks on bars so this thing will go away so depending on need you can again toggle uh, those things okay okay so now few things a few little things about you know uh, this chart i i would li uh, like to let you know that you know once you draw a particular line or a you know you can draw a horizontal line like this so you know what you can do is 
you can lock this particular drawing so that uh, by mistake you know these drawings are not displaced uh, for an example if you don't lock it what may happen that you know sometimes you can try to you know click accidentally click on that and this will move out so if you lock uh, this particular thing even though you know now you can you know so you see this this particular stuff you cannot move it so locking is a good feature of the drawings and here is one more on the left hand side hide all drawings so if you click on that all the drawings will be hidden and if you again click on that button now it will show the, all the drawings now this particular button you know it will show you the object trees like what about what are the objects that's there okay so for an example uh, i want to hide a trend line so i can click over from here also so you know this is another good feature that all the objects will be shown over here so uh, that's it guys that's it from my side uh, if you uh, like this video please uh, click the like button and share with, share with your friends uh, thank you for watching thank you very much